depressing, isn't it? Your belongings are meaningless. I am here for you, Vladimir. Now listen closely. I don't like repeating myself. You have no idea how often I have to do that. It pains me to say I need it. In return, I offer you your strength. I am what some refer to as a time walker. The bounds of time and space to me are nothing more than assets for me to control. However, there is a cost. A cost in which I am tired of pain. And you, Vladimir, are the perfect pawn that I need. Even if you had a chance at revenge against a certain... phantom. Having nothing means there's nothing to lose. You see these lands? You've achieved so much in this world, and yet this world still rejected you. They denied your right to lead them in brilliance. If I succeed, I can give you the entire universe to lead. There will be no one to turn you away. Oh, with my agenda, I can spare a single universe for your empire. I am after something much <laughs> bigger. I come from a race called the Cronians. We understood the laws of physics so well that we learned to break them, shaping time and space as we pleased. We were titans, divine, on par with the gods. But the strain of this power was not meant for mortals such as ourselves. As we pulled from the nectars of the universe, they pulled back at us. Every breach in time, every shift in reality, it wore our bodies down, making us weak and frail. From this weakness came anger. From this anger came war. That much power made us reckless, and our race was dying. Our universe collapsing. We needed a new home. In our studies through the cosmos, we discovered the Hands of Armageddon, an artifact said to exist simultaneously in every dimension. It was the key to escaping our diminishing reality. But we were so feeble and few, one more leap would be fatal for a single Cronian. We all agreed to offer a fraction of our remaining power, uniting us all to bear the pain as one. However, one of us must volunteer to go through the rift, find that universe's version of the hands, and power it from the other side to bring us to a new utopia. From there, we would teach that new universe the error of our ways, guiding them to greatness through our leadership. They needed someone young, fresh, and fearless. I was chosen to be their messiah. They called me Eon. This is my story. You are here by your own choice. You are entitled to nothing. The more that any of you know about my procedure, the more you become a liability. Each one of you are here for a very specific reason. And replacing you would be a... complication. A complication is not an impossibility. Do not misinterpret my words, but if you are that driven to learn more, I should reward your bold curiosity. I came from my world in search of a new home. But as I am still Cronian, every leap through reality made me weaker. After years of searching for the hands of Armageddon, I could no longer power it from the other side. I was running out of time. Through my voyage across the multiverse, I learned of the Omnitrix, a device that allows the user to transform into an arsenal of alien creatures. A young human boy from Earth was the wielder of this device. 
I predicted it could create a new cronium to replace me in my travels. I needed that device. I needed Ben Tennyson. Alas, it took a few tries. This boy was more resilient than I had anticipated. With every failure, I would go back in time and try again. This nearly cost me my life. Until one try, it finally worked. I transformed the boy into a Cronian, using myself as a DNA sample. And as my consciousness drifted into his body, I was reborn anew. But I soon found this solution to be only temporary. This body would one day fall too. Every time my body would reach its limits, I would go to a new universe and obtain another Ben Tennyson. I started to collect them in advance, for insurance. Some would become my pawns, others experiments. My fate became so intertwined with this boy for a time, I started to believe I was Ben Tennyson. But no longer. I refuse to be stuck in this infinite cycle. I will transcend to greatness beyond what my people could ever do. Then I will deliver paradise across the multiverse. That is my destiny. In due time, everything will fall into place. Take this humble gathering with vigilance. We are not companions. This will not happen again. My apologies. I can't hear you over your soul slipping away in my hands. Now learn your place. Another large use of my abilities, such as a jump through time, will wear this body to ash. I refuse to continue this cycle any longer. This will be my final body. It will be these lungs that take the first breath of my people's new destiny.